Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 15th of exercise 9.1 and the question says a straight highway leads to the foot of a tower a man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degrees which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed six seconds later the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degrees you have to find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. Now the question says, there is a straight highway which leads to a tower and a man is standing at the top of this tower and he sees the car and the angle of, angle of depression here is 30 degrees. And I have already told you that because the angle of elevation and the angle of depressions are same so you need to make the diagram according to the angle of elevation so here if the angle of depression is 30 you can make it the angle of elevation as 30 and because this car is approaching toward this building and after six seconds when he sees the same car the angle of elevation is 60 degrees so this is this distance is covered at 6 seconds you need to find how much time this car will uh, this car will take to reach the foot from this point so obviously this building will be perpendicular to the ground and if i suppose the height of this as h meters you need to find the time uh, taken by this car to cover this distance. So, if you want to find the time, so to find the time, the formula for time is distance upon speed. So, first of all, you need to find out this distance and you need to know what is the speed. So, we have to find this distance. So, let's suppose this distance is x meters. Now, let the speed of the car, because the car is moving at a uniform speed, so let the speed, uniform speed of the car be equals to x meter per second. So this is the speed s meter per second. Now, in 6 seconds, this car must have traveled, so the distance traveled, at 6 seconds will be speed is considered as s and the time is 6 seconds. So this distance must be 6 s. I have to find out this x distance. So to find out this x distance what we have to do is this is the first triangle if I name this, this is A, B, C and this is D. This is the first triangle A, B, C. I have to find out the ratio for 10 theta and in this triangle A, D, B again I have to find out the ratio for 10 theta and then I have to substitute the value from one equation to another. So in triangle this is A, B, C in triangle A, B, C 10 theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base this ratio we have already studied uh, until now we know that the ratio for 10 theta is perpendicular upon base and for this smaller triangle ABC the angle of elevation or you can say the theta is given to you as 60 degrees so here the theta will be equal to 60 degrees the perpendicular will be the side opposite to this so the side opposite to this theta is we have considered as h meters upon base the base the distance of base we have suppose as x meters so the value of 1060 is root 3 so this will be equal to h upon x now if i replace this the value of x will be h upon root 3 so this will be our first equation similarly in the second triangle which is triangle ADB which, which is the bigger one again the ratio for 10 theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base 
and here the theta is given to you as 30 degrees. So this will be equal to 10, 30 degrees. The perpendicular will remain the same. The perpendicular will be the side opposite to this theta, which is again h meters. And base for this bigger triangle will be this complete one. And the distance here is 6s plus x meters. So here, this distance will be 6xs plus x meters. The value for 10 theta is 1 upon root 3. This will be equal to h upon 6s plus x. Now if I cross multiply this, 6s plus x will remain as it is. This multiplied by 1 will remain as it is. And h multiplied by root 3 will be root 3 h. So this will be the second equation. We have to find the value of x. So to find out the value of x, what I can do is I can replace h with uh, from here. If I cross multiply this, the value of h will be root 3 x. So here the value of h will be root 3 x if I cross multiply this and if I place this root 3 here, I have cross multiplied this, this and uh, I am not shifting this root 3 to the right hand side. So keeping this root 3 on the left hand side but moving this term means multiplying this with 1, this will give uh, this expression. And instead of h, what can I, what can I write as root 3 x. So in substituting the value of h from first equation into the second equation, the equation will become 6x and in place of h I can write root 3x. Now cross multiplying this 6s plus x will be equal to root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3. Shifting this to this side because these are like terms to solve we have to shift this x to that side. So this will become 6s and this will shift it to that side will become minus x. So 6 s will be equal to 2x and the value of x will be equal to 6s upon 2. When this constant is shifted to the left hand side, it should divide. So the distance here is 3s meters. So the x which is the distance between this is 3s meters. Now you need to find the time needed or you can say taken by this car to tra travel this distance which is 3s distance and the distance is 3s meters and this speed is uniform and we have suppose it as s meters s uh, meter per second so ss can be cancelled so the time will become time will come 3 seconds so the time taken by this car to reach the foot of the star from this point will be 3 seconds. So this is how you can solve this particular question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.